Good morning, my people. I want to give a shout out to the conscious community and all of our efforts to unite our people as one. Be we Moors, Hebrews, Muslims, uh, the Kemetic Society. These are all attempts to bring about solidarity and oneness. And they are worthy causes, very worthy. And I reminded of being a child approximately four years of age, we're talking around 1967 sitting on the floor of my parents' house looking at Bull Connor and his officer beat down our people, the American Negroes who were crying out for equality and equal right. Now what really left a indelible impression upon my psyche and mind is the sign that many of the men held up that was involved in the struggle and it simply read, I am a man. And I understood even as a child the implication of that simple saying because my mother taught me how to read. I would sit upon her knee and her lap and C. Jane, run, C. Spot, run, so forth, and so on. So I understood the meaning of, of such simple words as I am a man. And what it implied, because first of all, I was raised by a strong black man and by a strong black woman who provided for me and sheltered me and nurtured me into the being that I am today. But many of us did not have this type of environment. So yes, we are dysfunctional in many ways. But even as the Bible says, let the strong bear the infirmities of the weak. So all these various attempts, my people, regardless of what you call yourself, comedic, Muslim, Hebrew, so on, etc., is to get our people together as one. And this is the thrust of my message. First, your mind must be renewed in truth. As long as we have divided thoughts, divided opinions, divided agendas, we can never come together as one and achieve anything, though I do applaud our efforts to do so. But let us continue, amen, to seek right knowledge. Right knowledge, my beloved, will propel and prepare us for the work that lies before us. So let us continue. Now, I'm guilty of throwing stones just like my brothers. I continue to encourage each and every one of you to obtain knowledge of self. What is the purpose of knowledge of self? It is the same thing as our men who in the civil rights struggle held up a sign that simply read, I am a man, I am somebody, and I am worthy of respect as any other man is worthy of respect. Even in the words of James Brown, I don't want anybody to give me nothing but open up the door and I get it myself. And so what we must do is get it for self. Individually and most importantly, collectively so that we can establish a homeland and a nation for our people. So shout out to the black conscious community from whatever facet, whatever branch you come forth from, but get to the root. And the root is Africa. The root 